welding engineering technology is a, uh, a field of study very similar and sort of a branch off of manufacturing engineering but a, an engineer who has a very intimate understanding of the welding process and how that welding process can be used to manufacture finished goods and products. The program was founded in uh, 1956. It was uh, started off as a certificate. It was very focused on uh, skill development, hands-on welding, and we started our bachelor's degree in 1986. We've modified the degree. We've, we've always kept the degree very current, but we've been primarily graduating bachelor's degrees in uh, welding engineering technology. Back then, the program consisted, I, I believe we graduated somewhere in the 20s, um, mid-20s, and now they're all the way up to graduating 40 welding engineers um, per year. So the program's grown significantly. So a lot of people underestimate how critical welds are um, on everyday objects. Uh, and that's where a good welding engineer comes in. I always tell people that, you know, there's 109 welds on the front seat of a Honda Accord and almost every one of them are what they refer to as a safety weld. It either has, holds a sensor or holds a seat belt bracket or, and you know, that's just on one car. Over half of the U.S. gross domestic product actually considers welding to be a key enabling technology. So it's everywhere. I really like the fact that we get a even mixture of uh, theory, science based stuff along with hands-on dealing with the processes. The first two years we really are developing hand-eye coordination, you know, a skill development, uh, but at the same time we're developing that skill. Uh, we want them to start paying attention, you know, how, how much material did you use to do this? We're spending a lot of time manually in the lab having the students know how to, to make welds with different welding processes using different materials, understanding the fundamentals. And the final two years is really just to round them out to be a good engineer, you know, the strong math sciences, uh, physics, chemistry, along with the metallurgy, along with a heavy dose of automation. In my eyes, there's, there's two of the best welding programs in the country. One is here at Ferris State University, um, now, the difference between the two um, is the Ferris State University Welding Engineering Technology Program is a lot more hands-on. So you, you'll hear all the teachers talk about how hands-on we are, but everything we have in the shop is industrial level. It's not simulators, it's not small, it's the real McCoy, it's the expensive stuff that everybody's operating, and we want them to walk out there with 100% confidence that they can touch and, and adjust any piece of equipment that they would ever come across. Really, when I came here, um, I enjoyed the, the facilities. I got to tour the welding facilities. and They're always staying up to date with current technologies, uh, giving the students a hands-on experience they'll, they'll need for the real world as technology's changing in the real world constantly. Our lab is, uh, is very well equipped and a lot of that equipment is a result of support from industry. A lot of our equipment is on consignment from industry and industry then continually updates it because they see the value of our program to their future company outlook because welding is a very important process to a lot of industries across the country, across the globe. The American Welding Society is a professional organization uh, based around welding. Um, we have a student chapter here that puts on events and they also do community service such as Adopt a Highway. Um, so it, it allows for students to stay active outside of school and then in addition on top of that it allows for students in the chapter to get scholarships. Our students quite often get involved with uh, civic projects throughout the uh, city of Big Rapids. Uh, there's lots of different artwork that they've participated in fabricating. They'll work with uh, Professor Barnum here on campus as well as local artists to, uh, to fabricate their artistic, uh, artistic designs. So the students aren't the artists, but they help the artists fabricate their art. And so we've, we've done so much uh, welding of aluminum uh, sculptures that are around town and a lot of the, what they refer to as weathering steels or core 10, the rusty materials uh, that are throughout campus. And, and it's just every year we do a couple new ones. Just to weld, no one's bothering you with your hood down. It allows you that time to reflect and relax. It's peaceful. 
and that, that was many memories I had of bad days, but when you start welding, no one's bothering you. That's fun. That's relaxing. It, it, I learned that it's, um, it's not so much all about just welding and just laying down a bead. It's a lot more. If, if students are interested in learning more about program, the best way to start is to visit our, our program website at ferris.edu slash welding. Learn more about, um, about internships and different career opportunities that they might have in the fields of welding technology and welding engineering technology.